one two. This is command. Commence operation. No return. Over. This is Dragon one two. Say again. Dragon one two. I repeat. Commence operation. No return. Immediately. Dragon one two. Do you copy? Wilco, commencing operation. No return. Out. Damn. Why did it have to come to this? Memory loss? Hey, wake up. You're our last chance. We're history if we stick around here. Move it, soldier! Success of this mission is more important than our lives. I doubt that your knowledge is based on reality. Wake up! It's only, what, the third time that I've shown off this opening trailer on my channel? <laughs> anyway, yes, it is finally time. Welcome to Let's Play Breakdown. Now, this is a game that I have been looking forward to doing for a while. Breakdown is a very unique game. It's basically a blend of a first-person shooter and a fighting game, or more like a brawler or beat-em-up kind of game. Not like Street Fighter, but think something more like, I guess... Uh, I was going to say like Streets of Rage, but in 3D, but that would, that would honestly give the wrong um, impression for this game. Basically, it, it mixes uh, first-person shooter and fighting, brawling elements, and... <laughs> Well, I do think it controls a little bit roughly, and it probably could have, you know, been a little bit better. Yeah, you know, like, it could have used a little bit of tweaking, maybe, but I've played it for so many years that at this point, I've grown used to it. It's like, over time, you know, you get used to the controls, and you can play the game pretty good. But, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I have been wanting to Let's Play this game for quite some time. It it really is a unique experience. I've never played... At least, I don't think I've ever played another game, which is really quite like Breakdown. It's really... It, it's, it's a very unique and interesting game. <laughs> like, I really can't say that enough. I should also note that this game is incredibly difficult. Like, even on the easy mode... It can honestly be kind of tough at times. I've actually beaten the game on Expert before, but I'm not going to play on Expert because I don't want to die over and over and over. I don't think I'll play on Hard either. I think I'll just play on Normal Mode because the main reason I want to... Well, I don't really do any Let's Play to show off, but it's like really the main reason I want to Let's Play this is because I just really want to share this game with you guys because it's just such a unique and interesting experience and it's a true hidden gem of the original Xbox that deserved way, way more recognition and attention than it got. So, without further ado, let's play Breakdown.
total memory loss? We haven't been able to determine the cause. His eyes are open, but he's not really conscious. Not 100% at least. His brain is still asleep. I see. Hey, wake up. You're our last chance. And wake up, we have. Wasn't us. Anyway, it's good to see you moving again. How do you feel? Yeah, he's awake. Uh huh. Tell the chief. <laughs> Derek, I know you're probably still a little groggy, but I'd like to get started with rehab and get some baseline data on your physical capabilities while we're at it. I'll need the data for comparison tests later on. I'm going to open the door now. Tutorial time! Oh, and if you're wondering, that little bar on the top left is our life gauge. You can probably guess that, but, but I'd say it anyway. Alright, let's get to work. First, one question. What's your name? It's... Derek. Ha <laughs> You cheated. I just called you that, didn't I? First, let's test your eyesight. Stand in the middle of the red ring on the floor and look at the logo on the wall. Raise your face and look at the... Good. Now face down. Hmm. No problem there. Time to move on to room two. Okay, let's open the door. I don't know why I was crouching there. Get the card key from the top of the desk. Use that to open the door. Alright. Now the next test will involve some exercise, so I hope you're ready. That was a big one. Nothing to worry about, though. Japan is earthquakes. Go through there while you're crouched. There's no need to crawl. Now climb up that ladder. Just let go to come down. You don't actually have to do that. Next, I want you to move forward in a crouch. To crawl through a narrow opening, lower your stance as you move through. <coughs> move across to the other side on the bar. So as you've no doubt noticed at this point, this game has a very realistic first-person perspective. Like, I mean, these days you see quite a few games like this that allow you to see, like, the arms and hands of your character and stuff, usually in first-person horror games and things, but way back in 2003 when this game was released, it was kind of a new thing. Like, most of the time you couldn't look down and see your hands and feet as you walk and stuff. And I think that was kind of, like, what they were, like, using to market the game. Like, it was, they were... 
you know, trying to give it like the most realistic first person perspective of any game ever. We can and break for lunch. Go to room three, please. Honestly, they did a really good job of it. I mean, it really is pretty immersive. Now let's see how your shooting skills have held up. Don't worry, the rubber bullets. Now grab a clip and load the gun. First, try and shoot the target in front of you. Good. Next, I'll put two targets up. Shoot the one I tell you to shoot. Red. Good. Red. Good. Blue. Good. Now let's try some hand-to-hand -hand combat. I realize you're still recovering, but I need your cooperation on these tests. But don't worry, we're almost done for the day. Derek, I want you to try some basic fighting moves to test your muscle functions. Give me a quick jab. Good. Now a straight punch. Good. Try an uppercut. Good. Okay, how about a high kick? Good. Give me a kick. I'd just like to note that the high kick is insanely overpowered. Alright, now do a back fist punch. Oh, pfft. Good. You're doing great. Now try a one-two punch. Good. The next move will require a bit of coordination. Try a right straight to a right kick combo. Good. Good. Now let's mix it up and try a one-two punch to a right kick. Mistiming it. There we go. Okay, now try a backflip. Good. Excellent. Now do an evasive roll. Good. Practice your guard in front of the mirror. Good. There's also a whole lot more moves and combos that they don't actually teach you here at the beginning. Like a lot of them you just gotta kinda discover for yourself. What's wrong here? <laughs> I don't know exactly how many there actually are in the game, and there's not an in-game list that keeps track of them. There might be some combos in this game that I've never even done before, because i actually seen some people pull off some combos in videos that I never even knew existed until I saw them. So anyway, time to go back to our room and have lunch. Yay, burger! And it was freaking poison, of course. Don't worry, we gave you a little something to help you rest. We'll continue with your rehab after you wake up.
kill him. Wow, you're a mess. But at least you're still breathing. The research lab was full of soldiers. By the way, I should uh, make a warning here. If any of you are, like, squeamish about, you know, vomit, and if you don't want to see a character vomiting in first person, uh, you might want to look away until I say it's safe. Okay, now it's time to lose your lunch. First thing we gotta do is get out of this building, and then meet up with Glenn. And it is now safe to look. Anyway, it's good to see you again. Who are you? You really don't know, do you? I'm Alex. I came to get you. Glenn Ogawa, the chief scientist of this research center, sent me. We can't stay here. If we do, we're history. Derek, you promised me you wouldn't let me die. Time for you to make good on that promise. Move it, soldier! Let's go! I'll take that, thank you. Alright, take that gun. You'd better put on some body armor, too. Body armor? Where was the body armor? Where was the body armor? I have to get it off one of the soldiers? No. Might as well take his ammo. Oh. And drink our coke, I guess. At least we'll have something in our stomach. Oh, there's the body armor. You can also pick up and look at uh, notes like this, although most of the stuff on them is illegible. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were being researched here. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll be encountering our first enemies really soon. Here we go. Somebody help me! It's him! Now. Pick up some ammo. Let me give you a hand. Be careful. Yeah, I just kind of did that really, really badly. Yeah, if you're playing on hard or expert mode, um, even these first enemies can prove to be extremely dangerous. Also, the only way to the only way to recover your health in this game is by eating food. Sometimes you can find rations off enemies you kill, and other times you'll find burgers and cokes lying around. There, there's also another way that you can recover later in the game, but I won't say anything on that because that's actually some spoilery stuff. So, yeah, you guys will see later on. Oh.
Also, those little, uh, the little squares next to the enemy, um, on the tar- Oh my gosh, I just died. <sighs> wow. Okay, that, uh, that didn't go so well. But the little, uh, squares next to the targeting reticle, that basically indicates how far you are from the enemy and your accuracy. It's like, the more squares are lit up, the farther away and the less accurate you are. I went much better. But yeah, I haven't actually played this game in a while. It, it's a little bit clunky. I have to get used to it again, but <laughs> I should be able to master it and be playing like I used to pretty soon. The really weird thing about this game is you use the A button to target enemies. It's like, that's really weird. It's like most games would use the left trigger and the right trigger to shoot. This game does use the right trigger to shoot, but target with A, it's really strange how that works. Here they come. Also, Alex needs to stop pushing me into enemy fire. There we go. Yeah, we did take care of them. You should find a radio. Alright. This dude has the radio, I believe. Yes, he does. Charlie One, this is Romeo 115. Did you take care of Cole? Over. Charlie Four, proceed to the medical section. They run into some kind of trouble. Over. Charlie Four here. Roger that. Earthquake! Nexus is making its move. Nexus? Would you mind explaining what the heck's going on? We're all kind of clueless here. I repeat, fire detected. Please Ah oh, yes, you can't see it unless you pause the game, but those little um, icons in the top right, that's your ammo. And we got a pistol, too. But yeah, it's like each one of those things is a full clip of ammo.